think, well, we started over 20 years ago. Um, so it was a relatively unknown sport then. Um, and now there's a lot more people competing. Um, I think it's taken a lot more seriously. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> Uh, they just, we were doing triathlons when uh, when they were small. They would come along and watching us uh, and got into it themselves, really. Yeah. They just like what we were doing. They've always been cycling, they had a tag along, we had, they came on with us. So they've always had uh, been doing the cycling, really, and the running, a lot of running at school. We needed to wear them out as well, to have masses <laughs> of energy, right from a very, very young age. So it was a great way of, you know, getting them to use up some of that energy. The first one we actually did the same together was probably last February, the off-road draft. Yes, yeah, we Swanage, did. Yeah, yeah. Where we all four raced, did exactly the same yeah. race. So we all started at the same time, yeah. which was good fun. And that yeah. was the first time the boys managed to pick me as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get a better one. <laughs> Well, like I said, we've done it for so many years and, and love doing it, and it's just great that the boys uh, like doing it with us as well. So at least we we'll, you know, we go away for the weekend racing, and the guys mm -hmm. come with us. Mm -hmm. We don't have to leave them at home, or they don't get bored watching us do it. So at least we can, so we can all enjoy together and the training, and not just the racing, the training as well. Yeah. Do you think, boys? Uh, it's of energy gel spares, we don't have to buy our own. <laughs> <laughs> Getting beaten by your kids. <laughs> yeah. Washing bills aren't great. <laughs> yeah, I think sometimes, because races, you know, things go wrong in triathlon. There's lots of opportunities for it not to go in yeah. how you planned it to. And um, sometimes you, you know, you want everyone to have a good race, and and sometimes we don't. For example, Jake could come to Germany with us to do the Exeter Worlds because he's got a shoulder injury at the moment and that was a real you know, disappointment I think for all of us um, but at the same time you know you can then support that person so well, that's quite exciting I thought I mean I have my name written on it it's like what you see on TV and you don't think you're going to be like that but when you've actually received the kit, like through the post and stuff, it's quite cool. It's quite exciting. It's, um, yeah, it's it's just a real honour, I think. Um, and you know, the great thing is you're you're never too old to compete at that level. So it doesn't stop when you know you you, know, you sort of start to get older. Slow down, but no, still. <laughs> yeah, you can still. still uh, in the country, yeah, yeah and I and I the races we've done, proud, yeah, I think everybody feels the same. Yeah. You know, you know, there's that sense of real pride, you know, for representing GB, um, and everybody's really supportive of each other. Even the races we've done, you know, the elites have cheered you on, um, and that's great. That's such a great feeling. Yeah. Just get them into try as early as possible, get the experience. Yeah big pieces of advice I would give is to try and find a club to get them involved in um, because you'll have a much better support network. But I think trying to do it by yourselves is really difficult. I think the club side of it has been really yeah, positive. Getting involved and the parents can help out as well and feel part of it if they don't do the sport themselves. Yeah. They open up with coaching and developing their and other kids. Yeah, talents. absolutely. That And that's another big part that's of it. our club, isn't it? Yeah. Is, trying to get the parents involved um, as much as possible.